Hi big tractor power fans. In this video I would like to share with you the tractors, plows, and harvesters that a farm raising corn and soybeans in the early 1980s running international harvester equipment would have used to raise their crops through a complete growing season. This video will share with you big classic red tractors that are used to raise crops on a row crop grain farm as well as big combines to harvest the crop. Now let's head out to the field so that you can see all the red power equipment that was used in the various steps to raise corn and soybeans on a farm using International Harvester farm equipment 40 years ago. The typical corn and soybean farm in the early 1980s would begin the growing season with primary tillage using a moldboard plow to prepare the seed bed. Here we can see a 161 PTO horsepower model year 1976 international 1566 tractor working with an international 616 720 moldboard plow. After the plowing pass, which buries the residue left over by last year's crops, farms will harrow the ground to smooth out the clods of earth ahead of the planter. Here we can see a 350 horsepower 1981 International 4786 articulated four-wheel drive tractor working with a 30-foot wide 415 roller harrow. This implement is used to smooth out the soil ahead of the planter. It uses large cultipackers to crush the clods of earth turned over by the plow, harrowing teeth to loosen up the soil, and a second row of cultipackers to firm up the seed bed. Having a good smooth seed bed is important. It allows the row units on the planter to run across the field evenly, putting the crop in the ground like a picket fence. If the soil is rough, seeds can bounce and be left on the surface, and the crop will not grow evenly. Tractors are often used for multiple jobs on the farm, with primary tillage complete, the 161 PTO horsepower International 1566 tractor has switched over to a 40 foot wide, 16 row, 30 inch, 900 cyclo air corn planter to put the new crop in the ground. This was the largest red corn planter on the market in the 1980s. It carries 30 bushels of corn seed in two bulk fill hoppers that use steel drums to singulate the seeds and an air delivery system to plant them in the ground. This planter will cover 70 acres between refills. No-till farming gained popularity in the 1980s. This is a process where seeds are planted directly in the soil without tillage. The surface of the field is left undisturbed with residue from last year's crops left in place to hold the soil and fight erosion as well as building up organic matter. Here we can see a 170 PTO horsepower model year 1984 International 6788 2 plus 2 tractor working with a 955 Cyclo air planter equipped with 23 rows spaced at 15 inches. No-till seeding soybeans through the previous year's corn stalks. This 30-foot wide planter is equipped with three 15 bushel air delivery bulk fill hoppers that can seed 45 acres of soybeans before a refill is needed on the planter.
Once these seeds have been planted and begin to sprout, weed control is an important part of the first stages of the plant's growth. Weeds can take away nutrients as well as shade out the newly growing crop, which will reduce the yields during the harvest in the fall. Here we can see a 95 PTO horsepower model year 1968 International 856 tractor working with a 183 8 row 30 inch space cultivator. This implement uses tines and sweeps to dig between the rows of soybeans and corn to dig up the weeds and aerate the soil to help the new crop get off to a good start. Harvest on the farm in the fall is a busy time, and International's most popular selling combine in the 1980s was the 1460 Axle Flow Combine. Here we can see a 170 horsepower, 180 bushel, model year 1979, 1460 harvesting soybeans with a 20 foot wide 820 grain head. Here we can see the same 1460 Axle Flow Combine that was harvesting soybeans equipped with a 6 row 30 inch 863 corn head. The Axle Flow Combine is equipped with a 24 inch diameter rotor that spins around in the machine that threshes the grain from the crop material. The grain is placed in the combine's grain bin and the residue is spread back out on the field. Once the corn and soybeans have been harvested and collected in the combine's grain bin, it is emptied out into waiting wagons and trucks which haul it off to the local elevator to be sold, where it will be processed into feed for animals and food for the dinner table. With the crops harvested, the growing season has been completed. I would like to thank the farmers that shared their classic Red Power equipment to help make this video possible that are located in central Illinois and western Kentucky. Does your farming operation use International Harvester tractors, plows, or implements? Tell me about the machine that you're operating and the jobs that you complete with it in the comments section below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.